Joy here from Joy's Memory Lane, and I'm glad to see Crop and Mama's crew, folks. I hope you're here with me. And if you wanted to create with me, it's very simple. You just need a couple of things today. It's, we're going to make this really fun two-page spread, or if you like, you can just make it one page. It's up to you. You just need a couple of things. It looks much harder than it is, so let me show you what you need. If you have your map, it's very handy just to line things up. 12 inch trimmer, your ad adhesive. I like repositionable because you're gonna have some points and angles, so it's very handy to get into those little corners. And designer paper, you need one designer print paper for each page you want to make. And you need to make sure you have good contrast. I just simply fold it over and kind of look to see if that has contrast that I like. And optional is a border punch that coordinates with your design or theme that you're doing. So we're just going to start with our paper. Just simply stack them. If you're going to do the two pages, really quick and easy. Use your 12-inch trimmer. And we're going to poke it in. Let's see. I need to go this way. Just hold your pieces together. And if you've never noticed, there's a 45-degree angle line on the base. We're going to slide it under here along this 45 degree angle line and if you fold the the bar down the track for your blade then you'll be able to slide your paper all the way to this five inch line which is the last long line on the base and you're just going to take your trimmer and slice off the triangle might want to go back and forth a couple times because you're going through two layers so I have two triangles. I'm going to take my paper, turn it around 180 degrees, and put the opposite side in. You do the same thing. You kind of close it partially, line it up. I have this point. It's pointing right to the 7, actually, here on this ruler. And slice down. And now I have two more triangles. So you should have a total of four triangles. And you have this cool looking shape. So Kate, actually put your triangles back together. You're going to take this point, line it up again on your 45 degree angle line. And this time we're going to use this long straight edge, line it up at one and a half inches on the right. If you go all the way to the edge on the right hand grid, it's one and three quarters. So just back it up one line in, keeping it on that, keeping this angle on the 45 degree angle line, and do a slice. Again, you're cutting through two layers, so just cut firmly. Okay? So just you can slide your pieces off to the side, take your other two triangles, do the same thing. Line up your angle here with the 45 degree angle line, your long straight edge, the one and a half inch line. And do a nice slice. Okay, now we're done with our trimmer. That's all the cutting we need to do. So you can decide if you want to use just a plain cardstock or an index sheet. You know, that's our, our inserts for our paper packs. You're going to completely cover it up, so it doesn't matter what's on this, or you can use any piece of cardstock. Today I'm going to go ahead and use album pages, and then I'll be ready to go. So you're going to take these shapes and just line them up and decide which side you would like to be featured. Because I have two granddaughters, I think I'm going to go super pink and keep all that pink up and go ahead and just clip those over you can do this like an assembly line and just put your adhesive around all the edges all six sides of this shape and just 
line this up at the top corner and the other should fall right in place diagonally at the bottom and we have that i'm just going to do both at once do the other side the other thing that's nice about repositionable adhesive is i don't know why but the tape runner just really rolls really easily and quickly so you can get get done quickly and just pay attention you're going to do this the opposite direction if you want this to be a nice two-page spread so you're making kind of mirror images and you'll get that cool effect when they're side by side so we lay that down now we have our triangles and we have our I think these are rhombuses and flip these up now again you know you can pay attention if you like if it's directional I took the two that were together so I know they were from the same piece of paper so at least the directions should be the same but you decide how you like it actually I can see on mine I'm gonna take them and flip them so they're matching each other on the opposite sides let me see if I can figure this out and it's just like a puzzle you're just gonna match those pieces up hmm let's see those are both those arrows are going up It really doesn't matter, but I don't think it really matters. So we're just going to flip these over. Or because I'm using an album page or even on your background, you can just run your tape runner right along the edge here. I did it right along the edge of this long piece. And then on the short side of my rhombus here, I'm going to run the tape runner this way. So when I flip it over, I can just line that right up. And then you're simply going to take your triangles and fit that right in. Super simple, but it looked a lot harder than it than it was, don't you think? I got that a little crooked. Let me straighten that out. A little hard to see my white paper on my white page. Trying to see if I can see if anybody's joined me. I see Rayanne. Excellent. Thanks, Rayanne, for coming on. So we just. So whatever's faster for you, however you like to do your adhesive. And you're just going to keep lining these up and it's just kind of like a puzzle. You are just putting all the pieces back together that you cut apart. I, think I will use my repo this time, getting into those little corners. Just run our tape runner, all the edges, stick that down. And because this paper has nice contrast, it's already interesting. But of course, we know we like our embellishments, we like our stickers and borders. So you can add embellishments, stickers, borders. Or you can choose a coordinating color of cardstock, punch a border with a border punch, your border maker, and you can also cut mats for your photos. And a hint is that I like to print my photos with white borders, so when I put them on a page that has good contrast, I have an instant mat. I don't always map my photos. So now we have an option. We can place our papers this way 
or we can flip them. Well, oh, that didn't work. I'm sorry. I need to flip it this way. If you turn them this way, you'll get the V this way. But because I stuck mine down, I've committed to the direction that I'm going. So your V can be going this way or it can be going down the page. And you have the option of flip-flopping your papers and making one side with one side up and the other can be opposite. And to dress this up, I already went ahead and punched a border from my leafy vine. It's one of our newest tools. Simply place that on and I have a very cute edge design. Let me show you another quick option. I happen to have this frame already cut. With our 12 inch trimmer we can cut these frames really easily and you can just place that right over the top and you have a nice finished edge. And there's no rhyme or reason. You can to this to the size here you can vary the size when you cut your triangle from the beginning. Try cutting that maybe at the three inch line and you can cut maybe this at a one inch width and you'll get a different look. So it's completely up to you. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun and I would love to see what you've created with this design. If you can please post that in the comments and I'll see you back next time. Thanks for joining me.